The video I have for y'all today was shot early this morning. It was about 30 degrees at the time. It's a 19 year old carrier gas pack. And I try to show the efforts I went through to make sure that heat exchanger was still intact. It was questionable, but I ended up installing carbon monoxide alarms and I feel a little bit safer about leaving her like that. So I show you what I found and why it wasn't working in that inspection. So stay tuned. Whew. This is a no heat call. And I think this is a carrier gas pack. <clears throat> well, it did fire up. In fact, I think it's fired up right now. Let's listen for just a second. quarters um. Burners just went out. We gotta make sure the blower is coming on. Half of these screws, more than half of these screws are stripped. Here is a easy select board for a variable speed blower motor. And I do not hear it. I'm gonna get me a, a knee pad and we're gonna dig in deeper to this blower motor. I just heard it fire up again. It's actually quite cold out here right now. gives the possibility, you can see the exhaust is right here, gives the possibility of it infiltrating the air in the house. Turn the heat off and the fan on and see if it comes on. 
after going inside and turning on the blower the blower comes on to determine if it's this board or this one this goes to my blower and I think that goes over here to this may be wrong I got to trace out these wires thinking around in here that right there seems like it came off I'm gonna separate this real quick and jump and see if I'm getting try to see if I'm getting a call on white right here excuse me right here and oh, I could use a wiring diagram this right here may may be what brings on my blower when there's a call for heat power real quick either way if if this is the coil side and that's getting 24 volts this side should close and um, I think the diagrams on the back side
I just heard something else fire up and I looked up and they have one of those on demand water heaters. Okay. like I was right that's the coil on that side and two and four are going to be my normally open there we go yep that's right so these are normally open and that's my coil we're fixing to swap that out and see if it'll come on and then we gotta take a good look at that heat exchanger I have these this style of relay I have always called a peanut relay and uh yeah that'll work one and three and two and four you just got to make sure that the coil voltage and you see right there is 24 volts and that's what we need this is my heat exchanger and as you see it has some significant rust I'm going to probe what I can see right here. I know it's I know it's already kind of hot. I'm gonna get me a mirror. These little divots right here are often where you see some of the worst spots but so far like it's okay I'm, like I said I'm gonna get me a mirror and look around in there oh, I'm trying to put that where y'all can see it that's a, not a good looking spot saw something over here
I'm okay. I, uh, I'm checking this heat exchanger. Yes, ma'am. Um, it's one of the better ones. That was one of the worst spots that I saw. Pretty sketchy. Although, I found significant rust spots in that. I did not find a reason to condemn it right now as much as I wanted to. And you know, honestly, I'd like to do the heat exchanger. But this thing is 2003 so it's 19 years old now hmm. I am going to insist on a carbon monoxide detector though There is a way to tighten these up. If you look at what I'm doing, I'm just squeezing the back side of this spade. Right. That came off anyway, didn't it?
All right, let's put power to it and see if our blower don't come on. done with this but I wanted to show that I properly secured this I got all this as tight as I can and I've had questions about being able to do that that's hanging strap up there in the top of my bag don't need a magnet just and it'll stay right there And this is where y'all sleep in this room um in here is a good place to have one because this is where you're most at risk mm -hmm. you're asleep and if there's carbon monoxide you won't know it um but i also another good place is in the hall okay okay i just want to be because of the amount of rust that I saw, I just want to be safe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is that, Peggy? What is that? No, that's totally agree. All right. Something I've gotten in the habit of doing is coming back to make sure everything's running and I didn't leave any tools. And look what I found. I almost left that like that. lady was 
really nice and understanding and I explained to her how old that thing is and that she needs to have it checked every year. And I don't expect that heat exchanger to last, but maybe one more season. So um, I hope I have a good customer out of that lady. And I wanted to tell y'all, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe.